water is the most consumed material all over the world. The second one is concrete. The concrete is the final product of cement. Cities, living areas, infrastructure, the cheapest construction element and one of the strongest with that cost, it's concrete. If we could just solve that CO2 effect and decrease it, cement will be still the best solution on construction part. Cement is a heavy industry and it is, it is a commodity. There is a huge competition in the market. So in order to differentiate from the competition, you have to do something different. Cement manufacturing is an energy consuming industry. At that point, efficiency is really critical. If you consider the cement uh, process, we are emitting a large amount of uh, carbon dioxide. And if we can optimize and get the stability of the process, the impacts to the environment automatically decrease. By the power of data, we can decrease uh, the amount of emissions. That's why we heavily invest in this AI and related technologies. After met with data robots, we can do it automatically to analyze that data. We could start to get predictions. And today we could predict our NOx emissions uh, more than 90% accuracy. By the help of AI to optimizing our clean air consumption, we could decrease CO2 emissions. 7,200 tons less CO2 emissions per year, only by decreasing 1% on clean air consumption. Both process optimizations, we could gain uh, performance uh, efficiency higher, we could produce much more with less energy. This is also impacting our relationship with consumers because the more stable production we get, the happier they are. So this is a win-win for us. AI and related technologies for OYAK, it is not just another fancy tool that's nice to have. This is a vision for us and we have a holistic approach because we know that we can benefit uh, from these technologies in all areas. Now we started to some partnerships with the interactions, like with the sales department. We started to predict uh, sales amount to understand the demands and also share with them to see what was happening in the near future by the help of time series predictions. And we are planning to do some studies with logistics departments and maybe some projects which we first discussed with some HR department. People are actually asking for, uh, for some insights. So this is one of the motivating parts of the, of the journey. Right now, I think I am uh, somewhat a citizen data scientist.